Welcome folks, welcome to another monthly journal. For those of you that are not among the whopping three subscribers of this channel, I believe an introduction is in order. I'm an aging photography hobbyist, and I spend most of my free time shooting street photography. On this channel, you will be able to watch and follow along as I fumble about trying to improve my lackluster photography skills. To my current three subscribers, thank you. Not sure how you ended up here, but the warmest of thanks nonetheless. In this video, I'll share with you some of my favorite images that I took in Guangzhou this month. I spent most of February walking around an area of Guangzhou called Guangta. It's an area in Yexiu district, which is the historic center of Guangzhou. Guangta is home of one of the world's oldest mosques dating back 1300 years. To my understanding, back in the day, when it was built, the area was populated by Indian, Arab, Persian, and Jewish traders. I wasn't very happy with my output this month. I managed to get a few shots, but none that I really like. It felt like the city was in a dark haze almost the entire month. The weather was quite miserable most of the time, and I chose the absolutely worst times to go out shooting. I will try to plan out next month's photo walks better. All shots were taken with a bunch of old vintage Seagull Prime lenses that I bought for some buttons and lint back in the day. At least two of these lenses were on display on a blanket on the side of the street in Wuhan. And I got them for around $5 each and with a camera attached to each lens. Attached to a speed booster and a micro four thirds camera, these three primes give a full frame equivalent field of view of 35 millimeters, 50 millimeters and 85 millimeters. The lenses are quite old and somewhat soft. I know many of you will not find that appealing. For some reason, I find it extremely enjoyable shooting with them, and I don't mind the lack of sharpness that much. I was walking down an alley I haven't been down before, and then as I turned left, I saw this old couple hanging laundry to dry. I fired off a few rapid shots and prayed that some were in focus. I was walking down Sweetwater Lane, an alley full of market stalls, and waited for some interesting light that never arrived. I did manage to capture this lady in her stride before I called it quits and decided to come back the following week. The weather app forecasted another hazy day, so I brought along the 85mm equivalent lens. Not a big fan of this field of view, but thought it might work with the forecasted weather. As soon as I arrived at the market, Skies opened up and it started to rain. I ran for cover and managed to take this shot of one of the vendors putting a plastic bag over her head to protect herself from the unexpected downpour. It got dark real fast and I tried looking for some contrast created by the fluorescent lights. At this point I was more worried about my camera and clothes getting soaked and I found a temporary shelter from the rain and fired away. I think I stood at that point for an hour or so and that's the best I could do. Once the rain stopped, I quickly set off on my way home. On the way to the subway, I passed through another market that sold mostly electronics and audio equipment. I like the complete cacophony of this scene, but still, two weeks straight without nothing much to show for. Finally, after two weeks, we got a sunny day. Well, some of the time. It was very cold, and during the Lunar New Year, so there were very few people out. I did manage to shoot this lady trying to catch some sun. And these two gentlemen arguing over the price of ginger as the sun was disappearing again. When the sun finally came out again, I found myself in the wrong place. But try to make the best of it and got these following shots.
decided to call it quits and headed over to the subway station. Managed to take this shot as he passed me by. My favorite shot of the month ended up being the last one I took. I saw this old lady return home from the market. The whole building was a mess of cables, trash and bicycles. Believe me, this photo does not do it justice. But I like it. And it is my photo of the month. Street photography has all the elements you need to make an interesting photo. It is also incredibly challenging. Sometimes you have close to zero control of what is happening in real time. In a flash of a second, you need a master composition, shadows and light, colors, reflections, layers, and moving subjects. And this month, take cover from the rain. If you're well prepared and a little lucky, that beautiful light does not vanish. That person does not move. You don't screw up your exposure settings and you get to capture a precious moment in time. It's the thrill of the hunt with a camera. Enjoy the hunt. See you next week.